Welcome back to another edition of Inside the Idaho Vandals with head coach Paul Petrino. I'm Dennis Patchen. Thanks so much for joining us and being with us as we bring you another week of University of Idaho Athletics. Kind of a tough one last week, huh? Yeah, that's, that's taking out back and getting your butt whooped. But, uh, you know, we knew that's going to happen at times this year and came out here yesterday and practiced hard and we just continue to work to improve. There was, there was a, you know, there were some things in the fourth quarter where some guys played hard, did some good things. And there was a couple individuals that, that played hard, but overall as a team we just got whooped. How do you use that game to make your team better? Or is it one of those that sometimes that happens and you just throw it out? No, I think there's always things you can learn from. I think you got to, it's kind of like hard love. You know, like as a parent, sometimes you got to give tough love and there's things that you got to, you got to face it. You know, you got to look at it right, take it square in the face and learn from the things that, you know, plays that guys just didn't do their job or plays that we just didn't, didn't play hard enough or execute. And then there's a couple of plays where we just got outmatched, but but uh, for the most part, you know, it shouldn't have been as bad as it was, and, and we just need to we need to show up and play harder and play with better effort and show more courage and, and just a lot of stuff that, you know, yesterday was a hard day, a hard day for a lot of people to sit and watch that tape and, and go through it. And uh, but something you got to face, you got to take it head on and learn from it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. So, as far as the coaches are concerned. When practice starts on Sunday, that is when that game is behind and it's time to get ready for the next game. Correct. Yep. And then that's how the players should be too. Once once we come out here on Sunday night, um, then it's it's time to move on. It's time to get ready for Arkansas State. Once we get done with our practice, then it's time for the young guys to, to scrimmage. Last night we had everybody scrimmage, all the young guys with the exception of Chad. You know, some of the other guys have Dion and Richard and some of them, but last night uh, I, you know, I told the guys in the team meeting, anyone that is not named Chad will be in full pads and they will be in the scrimmage tonight. So um, it was good. It was good, you know, with the exception of the older guys. And it was good for them to get out here and run around and hit each other and, and get better. And, uh, and, and it's been crucial for us, especially in the old line with all the injuries we've had. It's built some depth and get guys um, a lot of playing time on Sunday nights, you know, ready to play then on Saturday. Was Sunday then about accountability as far as you were concerned? Um, you know, it's just, you know, you always have to, everybody has to be accountable. I told them, you know, after the game, I told the press, you know, when, when you get beat that bad, there's one person you should blame, that's the head coach, that's me. And I told the team the same thing, but I said also, you better watch that tape today and, and better evaluate yourself and, and take the arrow in the forehead on the plays where you didn't do your job. So um, to the press, I'll never say that, you know, individually, point out any one individual, but as they watch that tape, they better see it and they better understand what they got to change and improve. And um, and we got to have a great week of practice. I was very disappointed because I thought we had a good week of practice last week. I thought we'd come out and play real well. And, uh, you know, and there was times, you know, this generation, there's too many front runners out there. And that's just kind of how a lot of kids grow up nowadays. And until we build the program to where we want it, we have too many of them ourselves. And if, those first two drives when we got down there uh, and turned the ball over, if we could have scored touchdowns there, then, it, then I think it would have given some guys a little more life and a little more spirit. And, uh, and I'm not sure we would have won the game, but I think it would have been more competitive. But uh, that didn't happen, so just got to keep fighting. You talked about in your press conference after the game, sometimes that happens with a freshman quarterback. And Chad didn't play you know, like you wanted to, and I'm sure if we asked him, he didn't play like like he wanted to. Is that just the dangers of playing a freshman? They're going to have games where it just doesn't go right? It happens sometimes. You know, it happens. But also, the guys around them got to play better. You know, to be honest with you, you go back and watch the tape, and uh, it could have been a senior quarterback, and the guys around him just didn't play well enough. I'm not sure. You know, some senior quarterbacks might have played okay, but there, there, there's not a whole lot of guys that would have played great at quarterback on that given day because of the guys around him need to play better. Justin Perkins is a young man on this football team who didn't have to go very far to become an Idaho Vandal. Alyssa Charleston has uh, had a chance to visit with him this week in practice. Thanks, Dennis. Well, I'm here with redshirt sophomore Justin Perkins, running back, a local Moscow kid. Justin, what kind of made you want to stay in Moscow and play football here? Well, kind of is my only like real D1 option, I suppose. I had a, a lot of smaller schools look at me, but I, I really wanted to play at the you know highest competitive level I could. So. Being a local kid out here in town, um, coach gave me a shot, so I decided to stay around and take it. And you started off as a walk-on. What got you 
into a position where you're on the field and you're playing, what motivates you to do that? I, I would say uh, the strength coaches helped me a lot, probably more than anything. They, uh, I'd spend a lot of extra time in the weight room. I put on 22 pounds as a freshman, and then uh, you know I played a pretty good spring ball. I was a little heavier, and then that kind of got me right into my scholarship role. Can make a huge difference. Is there anyone you kind of emulate in the NFL or otherwise? Um, there's a lot of running backs that I always like to watch, but I probably, like growing up, I really liked watching Emmett Smith, and it uh, helps he's a little shorter, make, <laughs> makes me feel a little better about myself. <laughs> okay, and as a running back, um, you cannot be afraid of collision. Have you ever had that fear, or what kind of got you over it? No, I, I would say it, you either you have it or you don't. Um, I mean, that's just something in your head that you either you're going to want to hit someone or you're not going to want to hit someone. That's a big thing that Coach Petrino really wants to prove toughness out here. So, I mean, if you can hit someone, then you'll play. Well, thanks for taking the time, Justin Parkins, a running back who is not afraid of a big hit. Back to you, Dennis. What do you like about Justin? You know, he's a great kid. He's a hometown. He comes to work every day, works hard. He plays on all four of our special teams, um, does a good job on kickoff cover. And, uh, you know, he's, he's just a good kid. You want to have kids like that in the program that work hard and give everything he got. And he's just he's a great individual to have around. When you get a kid who's local, and he's about as local as you can get from, from, from Moscow, how important is that to you to have those type of guys on your team? You need them. You know, you want to have guys that, even if it's not necessarily local, but just guys from the state or guys that are going to have great pride and fighting a little bit harder, you know, for that Vandal family and the Vandal logo. And, and that's very important to have. And, and, you know, we just got to make sure that we try to get all the kids that we can that are good enough to play. There's a quarterback in Pullman. I, as a sophomore here, he's pretty good. He's Think pretty good. Recruiting him. If he's good enough, we're pretty sure we'll get him. Are you going to have to convince his mom of that? No, that, that'll be a done deal. <laughs> if you don't know, <laughs> Coach Petrino's son is the coach or the quarterback at Pullman. When we come back, we'll take a look at this week's game coming up. Arkansas State back on the road for the Idaho Vandals. That's all, and we continue in Inside the Idaho Vandals.